Hello, 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 Pattern Realm. Jimmy Unicare, your success, confidence, and thrive coach. Today's lesson deals with yet another question. Is there a connection between mental health and faith? Now, obviously, we know the obvious answers, but once again, to play Socratic on you. We can't use the yes no toggle switch. We can't use it depends. The answer behind this connection is in this equation. Needs times faith equals motivation. Now, if you don't mind, and, and please forgive me, I'm legally blind. I want to get into the Bible, if you will. Um, I believe it's Second Corinthians chapter 12. And I ask you guys to bear with me while I find the app. Here we go. All right. New Testament. Second Corinthians. Chapter 12. And I think we're going to do from verse 5 to verse 9, if you don't mind. Okay, verse 5. Of such an one will I glory. Yet of myself, I will not glory, but in mine infirmities. For though I would desire glory, I shall not uh, be a fool. For I will say the truth. But now I forbid, lest any man should think of me above that which he uh, seeth me to be, or shall be, or, or that he heareth of me. Here's verse 7. This is where the key is here. And lest I should be exalted above measure through the uh, abundance of the revelation that was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. For this thing I besought the Lord Christ, that it might depart from me. And he said unto me, My grace is sufficient for thee, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Most gladly, therefore, will I rather glory in my infirmities, that the power of Christ uh, may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in, re in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, uh, in distress, for Christ's sake. For where I am weak, there am I strong. 
What was his thorn in the flesh? We don't know. I have always surmised that it was mental anguish, pain. Some theologians speculate that it was eyes, his eyes. Others, well, some common among uh, some teachers, Bible scholars in institutes of religion say that what Paul had was like he taught in a symbolism. But we don't know. So let's say for the sake of argument that his thorn in the flesh was a mental illness. Okay? What held him through that? What held him? What is it that strengthens his faith through all the pain and sorrow that he's going through for this messenger from Satan to buffet him? It's his faith. I'm going to tell you this, my church attendance, my evenings and dinners out with the missionaries, the conference we had last weekend here in the, here in the uh, Midland Odessa area of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, those are where my faith got strengthened, especially the Saturday night session last Saturday where we talked about, of all things, mental health awareness. The church is finding a connection, and I think all churches should do this, find a connection between faith and mental illness and help people bridge the gap. Of course, you should be seeing mental health professionals. Th that Bible verse, I've, I've read it over the years, but when I had a counselor give it to me, and he had me in mind when he, when he gave me those verses as a reminder. He had me in, in, in mind. Because often we have that thorn in the flesh and it knocks us down. Now, we can find relief from that thorn in the flesh, though the Lord sees fit not to uh, take it away. And many theologians say we don't know how, why we suffer. I think our why goes into endurance, what our choice is. And let me tell you something, I have bipolar disorder and it's hard for me to endure. I'm not going to lie to you, it's hard, it's painful. I'm recording this on Wednesday night, it's going to be released early Thursday morning, all goes well. Have a lovely day uh, with me, Princesa Blanca. That's all I'm going to say about that. But I noticed as the, as the evening wore on, I started getting lonely. And so, I prayed for the Lord to take it away. He doesn't necessarily take it away, but he alleviates it. See, that's the thing. Even though he may not take away our thorn in the flesh, he alleviates it. And how does he alleviate it? It goes down to what I've been preaching for almost six years now. The cap method. Choose, act, and pursue happiness. You need to choose to have faith that no matter what your thorn in the flesh is, through the strength of the Lord Jesus Christ, you can overcome it. Listen to me. You can overcome it, no matter what. No matter what. 
Now, here's something else to think about. And I want you to think about this and think about this big. I'm giving you my interpretation of is there a connection between mental health and faith. I see there is. But the point of pattern realm when I ask these Socratic methods in the coaching circle, and let me tell you something, this question, this topic, it's a big guide to answer a longing. I should have said this at the very beginning. It's a big guide to answer a longing. Trust me, you'll see it and you're gonna be blessed. Think about it. I, I wanna I wanna look at the, the verses a little bit closer, some of them. Especially toward the end. Um, seven through nine, if you will. It's gonna take me a while to get there. Oh, I got there quicker than I thought. Verse seven. Unless I should be exalted above measure. What was Paul talking about? You don't go out and tell every revelation about you. See, the Lord gives us weakness to keep us humble. But there was a thorn in the flesh. Which, if you ask me, Paul had some pain. Paul had some pain. And if you ask me, it was it was some anguish, some distress. He was strength stricken, was full of sorrow and suffering. See, I, I never really thought that it was a physical suffering. But like I said, we don't know, but I never thought it was a, it, it was a, especially as I began to study the restoration of the gospel. Listen to me. This is a key to answer your quest for longing, your quest for he right. You got it. Okay. We talked, we talked about how entrepreneurs can practice the faith, that's, that's going to be part of a good journey. But now we got, we, we touch on the relationship between faith and mental health. And to be honest with you, this is going to be, this is going to be the guide to push us forward, forward on our journey. Now, I hope you enjoyed watching. If you like what you hear, please subscribe, become a part of the Pattern Realm. Until next time, don't just sit there and take it. Whatever mental health problems are, don't just give in to them. Manage it so you can go out there and build your dreams so you can take it. Do what others don't so you can be what others won't. And do what others won't so you can have what others can't. Choose, act, and pursue happiness. God bless you. Remember this, from the bottom of my heart, Jimmy loves you. I really, 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 really love you. God bless you, and please have a blessed day.